This is for a Nissan NV200. Uh, this is, I believe, a 2017 model. For the sliding doors, if you squeeze all the way and the doors won't open, that's because of this mechanism in here. I've fixed it. Um, this guy comes loose and, and there's this little screw here holding that in place. That comes loose. I've cleaned it up, um, tried to use some bite washers, different things, and it didn't work. So I made this bracket here out of, it's bent a little bit, and I did have to drill this hole. Um, and this is the original bolt that was here. I took out, took that out and put in a smaller screw. Those are the same size screws with a washer on each side. And um, I don't know what's called lock nut, just uh, one that doesn't fall off, you know. <laughs> so here's a little map. I made this out of a electric box cover plate, which are cheap and available to everyone. Um, so you can get an idea of what I did. Um, the most important dimension is this one right here. And then just make sure that it can slot in there. Um, and then also there needs to be a little bit of clearance. I did this afterward for the actual uh, mechanism there to slide. Um, get an idea there. Okay, and then here's a, a map, so to speak. Uh, this, like I said, the most important dimension is from here to here. That's about three and a half inches. Um, and then also uh, this one and three quarter to this inside. And then about roughly the width of the blade of my grinder. Uh, I used a cutting wheel on an angle grinder. And then I just cut this off just uh, to be able to reach around in there. And then this is the clearance for that uh, mechanism. Um, and then this is not very important, two and five eighths from here to here. And then these dotted lines, this, that's roughly where I bent it. Um, you can figure that out. If you're willing to take this job on, you'll probably figure that out. Um, oh, here's, to get the thing off, how's this guy going? Okay, like this. This goes on like this, there is a Kind of a funny little clip there. I think you gotta turn this on the side to get it on there one way or the other. It's kind of funky, but there are two screws behind here. Phillips head, one, two, and then if you have a have a uh, trim removal, some trim removal tools, pop these guys off. There's a whole bunch of those. Um, really only take about half of them off on the top. That's that. Feel free to leave a comment or contact me if you have any questions.